well today's class is going to be preceded by ms k rama devi first year bsc mpcs group from sbvr degree college badwell so central force ante enti what are examples characteristics of central force ee vishayalanu meeku rama devi explain chestundi hello friends this is k rama devi from first year bsc mpcs group sbvr degree college badwell today my topic is on central force and its characteristics let us see what is meant by central force central force is defined as a force which always acts on a body or particles towards or away from the fixed point and whose magnitude is depends on distance from the fixed point is called central force సెంట్రల్ ఫోర్స్ అంటే ఏంటంటే ఒక ఫోర్స్ ఒక బాడీ మీద లేదా పార్టికల్ మీద ఎలా యాక్ట్ అవ్వబడుతుందంటే టూ వర్డ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫిక్స్డ్ పాయింట్ ఆర్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫిక్స్డ్ పాయింట్ అండ్ దీని యొక్క మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ దేని మీద డిపెండ్ అవుతుందంటే డిస్టెన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫిక్స్డ్ పాయింట్ మీద డిపెండ్ అవుతుంది దీన్నే మనం సెంట్రల్ ఫోర్స్ అంటాం లెట్ ఎస్ కన్సిడర్ ఓ బీ ద సెంట్రల్ ఫోర్స్ అండ్ పి ఇస్ ద పార్టికల్ హూజ్ పోలార్ కోఆర్డినేట్స్ ఆర్ ఆర్ అండ్ తీటా and the central force acts on the particle p is defined as f is equal to r cap into f of r where f of r is the function of distance r of the particle from the fixed point and r cap is the unit vector along the radius vector r of the particle with respect to the fixed point now examples of central force the gravitational force of attraction between two bodies the gravitational force exerted on a first particle by the second particle which is a stationary inertial frame of reference is a central force gravitational attraction force between the two bodies m1 and m2 which is separated by the distance r is defined as f is equal to minus z into m1 m2 by r square where minus indicated the force is attractive when compared to the general form of the central force f is equal to r cap into f of r here f of r is equal to minus g into m1 m2 by r square f of r is equal to minus c by r square where c is equal to minus g into m1 m2 here f is directly proportional to 1 by r square it tells that the earth moves around the sun under the central force which is directed towards the sun this is an example of the gravitational force of attraction between the two bodies second example is the electrostatic force of attraction between two charges the electrostatic force exerted on a charged particle which is a stationary of a second charged particle is a central force the electrostatic force of attraction between two charged particles q1 and q2 which is separated by the distance r is expressed as f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 by r square into r cap when compared to the general form of the central force f is equal to r cap into f of r f of r is equal to 1 by 4 q1 q2 by r square f is equal to c by r square where c is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 into q2 therefore f is directly proportional to 1 by r square this is electrostatic force of attraction between two charged particles 
the electrons are revolves around the atom under central force di which is directed towards the nucleus is an example of the electrostatic attraction of two charged particles now third example is the elastic force acting on the mass which is suspended to the spring a particle is attached to one end of the spring and another is attached to the mass which is stationary is an example of central force the elastic force acting on the mass is suspended to the spring is expressed by the f is equal to minus k into x where k is the spring constant and x is the distance from the fixed from the unstructured string to the mass attached the springs pulls always towards to the fixed point are away from away from it so these are the some examples of central force now the characteristics of central force number 1 the general form of the central force f is equal to r cap into f of r where f of r is the function of distance of r of the particle from the fixed point and where r cap is the unit vector along the radius vector r of the particle with respect to the fixed point second one central force is a conservating force that is the work done by the force of moving a particle from one point to another is independent of a path followed number 3 under central force the torque acting on the particles Zero. number 4 under central force the angular momentum on the acting on the particles is remains conserved number 5 under central force the aerial velocity acting on the particles is remains constant and the sixth word the central force is attractive when f of r is less than 0 that is negative and repulsive when f of r is greater than 0 that is positive so these are the characteristics of central force okay this is somewhat about the central force and their examples and the characteristics okay for any doubts use the comment section thank you